Dear Fred Marantic, congratulations on joining us. The book is coming together beautifully, and I'm excited to share this journey with you. Well, it is still in progress. I'm confident it will be something truly special. Once it is ready to be published, you will be the first group to know. This project is more than just a book; it is a celebration of our shared creativity, a symbol of our connection across borders, and a milestone in building a vibrant, united community. Thank you for being part of this vision. Here are my questions for today's interview. What do you think about our mission? Tell me about yourself and the music background. What kind of music do you produce? What are your music inspirations? What musical equipment do you use? How many artists have you worked with? How many albums have you produced? Who is the best artist you ever worked with? Where can we find you? What are your future endeavors? What is your last comments? Thank you. What do you think about our mission? Hello, thank you very much for having me on this interview. Very appreciative.、Um, what do I think about the、uh, the mission?、Um, first and foremost, after reading about your organization, I definitely am a full supporter of the mission.、Um, I definitely like where the music is integrated into a style that unites Eastern and Western art, and、uh, makes it makes it a better world. So all in all, I definitely am very supportive、uh, of your guys' mission. Thank you. Tell me about yourself and the music background. Well, a little bit about myself and my music background.、Um, I started music when I was actually 12 years old as a drummer slash percussion percussionist.、Um, I came from a musical family.、Um, my dad was a famous jazz arranger slash music teacher. My mom was a singer.、Um, we had a pretty big household. Everybody in the household did some kind of the arts.、Um, but once、um, once I learned, started picking up the drums, I definitely fell instantly in love with it. And、uh, the rest is、uh, pretty much so on. What kind of music do you produce? What kind of music do I produce?、Um, as of right now, I'm producing more hip hop,、um, but I like to definitely. I've done a dance album. I've done an Afro Latin style album. I've even helped out、uh, with some movie soundtracks as well.、Um, for me, my motto is never say never <laughs> to any type of different styles, and definitely very open to, to learn different styles. So you know, it kind of builds up my repertoire.、Um, but definitely,、um, you know, I like to produce everything. Um, even if I've never done it, I'll definitely like to try it.、Um, even when I was a musician, I, I played everything. So for me, it just you know makes me more well-rounded. What are your music inspirations? What are my music inspirations? I would first and foremost say、uh, my dad、um, with my with his music background. Uh, definitely introduced me to you know the whole thing,、um, you know, with his、uh, his background in music. He you know he introduced the whole family into the music business or the music <laughs> the music.、Um, my brother introduced me to the Insonic EPS 16, so I have to give him credit for that.、Uh, also, my uncle Kenneth, rest in peace.、Um, you know he stayed with me for a little while, and we were actually. 
doing some jam sessions and back then I was kind of doing more you know bass lines and drums and he just came on the top of these with these cool melodies and everything and he was doing them so quick you know I just played something and next thing you know he, he had something going uh, definitely really opened up my eyes to a lot of things too as well with music um, also been inspired by some, you know, some of the top producers out there like Dr. Dre, DJ Premier, Pete Rock, um, definitely like Brian Simpson in the jazz and, and many, many, many others. Um, I don't want to forget anybody, but um, definitely if you're, you're consistent or you just do, you know, a one good track, you know, I definitely will get inspired, uh, inspired by that. What musical equipment do you use? What um, my musical equipment I use, um, like I said in the previous question, um, I was introduced to the Ansonic EPS-16. Um, I still use it to this day. Um, I've used other Ansonic models that were closely related, uh, but you know, it gets every, it does everything I want. Um, if I, I can sample on there, I can make tracks, I can loop, I can kind of do everything. Um, I still haven't mastered the whole keyboard because it's pretty complex. But I've mastered, you know, what I need to get done. It's a it's a vintage keyboard. It's been around for about 30 plus years. So I definitely want to take very good care of it and keep it around so I can keep around. So how many artists have you worked with? How many artists I've worked with? I would say off the top of my head, close to about 20. Um, right now, I have about 12 current artists I work with. Um, HLR, J.S.D. Moore, G. Bolo, Sola G, Love From Aaron Music, Creator Face X, Donnie Boy, Don Catalog, Big Rod, J. Fendage, The Bandit, Dirty Low, uh, Johnny T. Hot on the Block programs. Um, and uh, so those are some of the current guys I have. Um, a lot of those albums you're going to find on my, my band camp. Too as well. How many albums have you produced? How many albums have I produced? I would say about close to 40. 40 albums in basically since 2014 or 2019 when I came back into the game. Um, this year has been pretty, probably one of my best years um so far um but you know i got a lot of hungry artists and they they love to get busy and um so the albums are spitting out i think one year i think with all the albums i think it was almost 120 tracks that went out that i did who is the best artist you ever worked with who's the best artist i've ever worked with um that's a question that i will I really can't, never will answer, um, but I will say this. They are, they are all very unique and very talented in what they do. Um, some guys, you know, have more talents and they do different things or add to their, to their plate. Um, Love from Aaron, he, he does some wicked stuff with the tracks. Some of the guys sing. Actually, a lot of the guys I do are, are singers, too. Um, so, you know, they have a lot of skill sets that they bring to the table. Um, I can never declare who, who's the best or the winner. I definitely enjoy working with all of them and, you know, what they bring and what we can do. Where can we find you? Where can you find me? Well, you know, I started on social media back in uh, 2019 on YouTube. Uh, I was there for several years, but you can find me now on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all my albums on Bandcamp. So, um, anything, you don't want to hook up, collab, or whatever, uh, shoot me a DM on any of these sites, and I'll definitely get back to you. What are your future endeavors? What are my future endeavors? Um, you definitely want to stay working um, with existing and new talent. I always find it, you know, um, not so much challenging, but, you know, to work with the existing guys and keep producing their whole albums and, you know, and, and keep that rocking. Um, I'm always looking to improve myself, uh, learning new and different styles, like I said earlier. Um, you know, keeping an open mind out there, you know, never say never, you know, and, and just, you know, try to elevate my game. What 
is your last comments. Thank you. Some last comments I got. Well, um, you know, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to everyone that follows me on my channels. I definitely appreciate it. And I always try to get back and show appreciation to, to, to you as well for support. Um, the artists, they, you know, given me the opportunity to work with them. You know, they didn't have to. They, they, they saw something in me they liked, you know, and I was just glad that um, we were able to get something going. Sometimes it's a one and done. Sometimes the projects, you know, don't work out. Um, but, you know, I always appreciate the opportunity. Um, you definitely want to give shout outs to, you know, Real Talk with Haran, Hip Hop Nation TV. And then thanks to you for having the opportunity, uh, for giving me the opportunity to be part of your latest project in this interview. Thank you very much.